Let's see here. I hit my knee when I was sitting down. It hurts. <laughs> um, get that away. Lots of glass. Hmm. Let's go get some sand. <laughs> you caught up, Asian? <laughs> Why is your stream so far behind? Are you on cell service or something? Grabbed a handful of cashews while I was in the kitchen. So good. It's everybody's favorite nut. <clears throat> I think mine might be cashews, actually. Peanuts are good, too, though. Sunflower seeds aren't a nut, are they? What's the difference between a nut and a seed? Pistachios, yeah, pistachios are really good too. Yeah, I used to eat a lot of pistachios. I did tech support. I just always have a thing of pistachios there beside me. That and sunflower seeds, like still in the in the shell. I like almonds, but not as much as any of the other things we've just said. Yeah, yeah, pine nuts are good, too. I used to keep them around all the time for cooking, but not so much anymore. Pecans are real expensive. I, uh, the, the house we bought that's beside the office building has a ginormous pecan tree. Like, the biggest fucking pecan tree I've ever seen. Last year, I gathered so many pecans. I forgot you gotta kind of let them sit for a little while before you go go cracking them open, otherwise they don't come out very well. Are you gonna say these nuts? You're gonna say it, aren't you? I you you. you mm. Yeah, I really like pumpkin seeds, too. We bought our pumpkins like we normally do this year, but we didn't ever carve them. So we never made pumpkin seeds. Yeah, I recently bought some pumpkins he's actually to, for a trail mix I was making.
<laughs> pecan. Yeah, I guess I'm a pecan guy. For trail mix, I'm more of a like I like to have the the like the the sweet and salty trail mix. So I like to have M and M's in them. Why is your stuff desyncing, uh, Asian? Yeah, that trail mix I made, it was, my ex was, um, Go to some bachelor party, so she asked me to make her bachelorette party. Um, she has, it was in the mountains, and they were going on a hike. She asked me to make beef jerky and trail mix for them. And uh, she never liked it sweet, so uh, it doesn't have M&Ms in it. And it's still in there, because I don't really like it. It's been sitting around for like three months. I'm not really good at being divorced. It's like, I think a normal divorced person would be like, Oh, you need something? Well, fuck you. So in North Carolina, you have to be separated for a year before you can actually be divorced. So my divorce actually just finalized last week. So I'm actually only technically just now divorced. As of uh, last week. They do it so they hope that the people get back together. time to like try to reconcile time to hit the bar and pick up chicks <laughs> hey once you legally separate you can technically start fucking around you're allowed there's no it's not like a uh, it's not like a thing that that you can't do no I think I'm just going to stay single for the rest of my life there. I forgot to bring a bed. <laughs> Some O's inside, chicks. No, I don't know. Thing might be grabbing these guys and um, sleeping. <clears throat> Chat's very popular on Grinder. Melby was very popular on Grinder. I'll tell you that. He set up a grinder account while we were in London. He was very successful. <laughs> Milby's not gay, by the way.
Yep. Well, we got separated last October. She left while I was at the marathon. And, uh, so yeah. But I liked everything, like I said last week. MC is engaged. Could I explain to you how parents get separated when they, when they have a kid? Nope, I can't explain it to you. This wasn't any. I had no. I had no part in all this. <laughs> it's just the life I've been given. any kid hates hates it i know i hated it it was real shitty when i was a kid <clears throat> didn't help that my mom got with a, a drunk guy that, that beat us <laughs> so that, that that made it even worse but i know i mean it's different for every kid of course like i know for me it always sucked um i would always dread it's like it's this terrible thing because you dread like the, from the moment you like from the moment i would get to my dad's house because my mom moved so far away, so I only got to see my dad during the summer. And, like, the moment I would get to my dad's house, I would already be dreading because I remember, like, how much it sucked to leave again. Um, so it's like you almost don't even want to see your other parent because you, uh, the sadness you feel whenever you have to leave kind of thing. At least that was my experience with it all. It's not a competition. I mean, we had problems with this whole YouTube thing. It definitely was a problem. But it was mainly like she didn't like me going away to conventions or anything like that, which I'd, I had stopped to some degree. Um, like I'd cut out packs and all that. But I mean, it all started like, I don't know, like she didn't like that there were female fans at all. Um, I can't remember her name, but the, the girl that I kept telling, like, go bug Justin, leave me alone. Like shit like that was always a problem. Um, we didn't really argue or anything. Just. I mean, we met in high school. Like, she was 15 when I met her. And um, we lost our virginities to each other. So we really were only... We we were all we've ever known. And now 17. I mean, hell, we were, we were technically together for 17 years. We knew each other for 20. Yeah, Hannah. That was who it was. But yeah, any female fan was always a problem.
kind of lost interest the moment I was divorced. I think she <laughs> enjoys fucking with people that uh, uh, are are she knows are unattainable. Like I don't think she, I don't think Hannah wants anything to do with the guys that she fucks with, and that's why whatever I was like, go fuck with Justin. Just she wasn't interested in Justin because Justin was available. You know what I mean? I think that's just that's just Hannah's personality type. No, I don't think there's anything wrong with her. I mean, there's there's probably more. I mean, like, you know, you'd have to hear both sides of the story, too. Like, I mean, I don't know. We tried to go to counseling. She left. She left before, too. Like, she left uh, when I it was when I was going to PAX South, January 20, my, my, my birthday. She moved out. Um, and when I got, she called me. I was at PAX South. And she was like, I've decided to move out. And... Um, <clears throat> So I was like, well, what the fuck? Um, like, can we not? What? <laughs> he like, it was just so unexpected. Um, and so uh, that's when I came back from Pac South. Like, I kind of disappeared for a little while, video wise, like for like a week or so. And she had moved down to Rock Hill to her parents' house. And so I went down there and convinced her to come back. Let's try to go to family counseling and stuff like that. And we did. And. I don't know. I thought things were getting better, um, but uh, I guess I was wrong. Like, I don't know. It seemed like she was over all the the jealousy type things. Like that seemed to be a issue in the past. So I don't know. It always confused me why she had to do it while I was out of town. Like, I don't know. Like, whenever I was growing up, when, like I said, my mom was with the the abusive guy, uh, Kevin, like, that's what we had to do because, like, I mean, we were scared for our lives. But, like, you know, there's never been any reason for anything like that. And so I was just like, why, you know, why couldn't you just tell me? What the fuck do you have to move out while I'm out of town? I honestly don't didn't like the counselor that we chose. Um, it seemed like she always sided with whatever I was saying, and so I felt like that it didn't even help us at all, because the counselor was just like, "Yeah, you need Crystal, you need to work on these things," <laughs> and it's like, "This isn't helping the situation at all." It makes her feel like I don't know. It just didn't seem like it was it. It was very good. No, she definitely doesn't watch my videos. She wants absolutely nothing to do with me. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I have to pay this fucking generator again. Oh my good. <coughs> what? <laughs> what? Chipper kicks. I just realized I sent you that book a month ago. No wonder I'm trying to wonder where it went. Did you mail it to my P.O. box?
because if so, it's still there. Uh, yeah, we have uh, we have joint counts. We have joint uh, custody. My daughter's here a week, and there a week. She's there right now. <laughs> I guess I need to go to my P.O. box and see if it's there. Because uh, I haven't been there in a, in a while. <laughs> Just to be honest, I think it may have been a year since I went to my P.O. box last. Hope no one sent a pet. I hope so too. All right. So furnace, basic machine, and a battery. So let's see here. <laughs> I mean, the whole situation just left me so fucking jaded because you spend twenty years with someone. That's over half my life. <laughs> So, like, to even, to even the thought of even attempting to be with anyone else at this point to me just seems, like, fucking pointless. Absolutely pointless. Like, in my childhood, my mom just went from one man to the next. Like, she was never in a stable relationship. And there was tons of arguing always and shit like that. And so, like, that's why I'm, like, never one to, like... Like I, I, I don't, I, I'm not capable of having like a screaming argument, for example, just because that was what my whole childhood was, and so like I just can't, I can't even like it, it fucks me up. In fact, like I like kind of like break down when someone starts screaming. the same recipe technically. <clears throat> I definitely have some kind of anxiety disorders. There's no question in my mind. Like I get I get extreme anxiety when driving. That's one of the things. But I, I just get anxious around people like I always have. one of the reasons why I used to drink so much because in any kind of social setting I don't know how to behave so it's it, it gets way better when I'm drunk I have no I have no trouble <laughs> I have no trouble interacting with people while I'm drunk Yeah, I know I see fun on camera. <laughs> it's it's that's one of those weird things. Y'all y'all aren't real. <laughs> y'all just in my head. Uh, let's just make a bunch of furnaces. Russian bots. <laughs>
Insulated tin. We're out of tin. Oh, shit, I filled that thing up. Nice. When I watched, uh, was it Modern Fam? No, not Modern Family. What the fuck was it that had uh, Dude from Everybody Loves Raymond in it? And he, he, he ended up realizing he had Asperger's. Parenthood. Parenthood. Some of the fucking symptoms for Asperger's, sometimes I'm like, man, I, I might have some, some little bit of Asperger's. 